Hey guys, so in this video we're going to have a look at the sine rule in non right angled triangles. So what the sine rule says is that the ratio of the length of a side to the sine of its opposite angle is constant. So that's probably not that clear, but if we picture this non right angled triangle which I've drawn here, we've got sides of length A, we've got sides of length B, and a side of length C. And then we have these angles, so A, or baby A, which is opposite our big side of A. And then we've got baby C, which is opposite our side of C, and angle B, which is opposite our side of B. So the rule says if we were to take the ratio of a length of a side, so side A, to the sine of its opposite angle, so the angle opposite side A, it's going to be this A here, that would be constant. So the ratio of the length divided by the opposite side would be equal to the length of side B divided by the sine of the opposite side, which would be equal to the length of side C. Whoops. Side C divided by the sine of its opposite angle. So the angle of side C. So we come out with this length of side A divided by sine of A is the length of side B divided by the sine of angle B, which equals the length of side C divided by the sine of angle C. So, you know, it's probably pretty hard to work out any practical uses for this, but it's used a lot in architecture, engineering, anything that requires geometry. So what we're going to do is, I was kind of watching The Lion King the other day, and I was watching the opening scene, and, and I kind of, I was alarmed. You know, I saw Rafiki, and he was kind of hanging baby Simba out the edge of Pride Rock. So Simba's this little yellow thing, and Rafi he's tied, tied to uh, Rafiki with some yellow arms. So I was thinking, you know, hey, how high above the ground is Simba? You know, how long is this side here? And it got me thinking, well, I could probably take just three measurements and end up working out high, how high Simba is off the ground. And, you know, if he's off the ground, that might be some cause for alarm, right? Because he's dangling a baby off, off this huge height. So I said, you know, well, we could liken Pride Rock to our triangle here. So we could say that this here is going to be our side C. And we could say here, we've got our side A. And then over here, we've got our side B. So Pride Rock is nothing more than a non right angled triangle. So if I want to work out this length of side B, exactly how high off the ground Simba is, well, all I really need to do is take a couple of measurements. So what I did was I measured side A. And I found that you know, the length of Pride Rock on the top was 102.46 meters. And then I thought, you know, I better measure the opposite angle. So I measured the opposite angle, and I found that that angle there was 120 degrees. And then I thought, well, I only really need one more measurement, so it'll be easy if I just measure this opposite angle of side B. I'm interested in my side B, I'll measure the opposite angle, and I found that that was 25 degrees Celsius. Not degrees Celsius, 25 degrees. Pardon me. So then I said, well, I might want to stick this into my formula, and I can work out exactly this length of side B. So we know from our sine rule in non right angle triangles that the ratio of the length of a side to the sine of its opposite angle is constant. So I know my A divided by my sine of A. I might mark those down. Might divided by my sine of A is equal to my B divided by my sine of B. And that's also equal to my C divided by sine of C, but we're not interested in C in this case, we're only interested in B. So what I can do now is I can say, well, I know what my A is. My length of side A is 102.46. And then I know my sine of A. So my sine of A is going to be the sine of 120 degrees. So the length divided by the sine of the opposite angle is going to be equal to side B, which I, I don't know what that is. That's what I'm concerned about. I want to know how high Simba is above the ground, divided by my angle of sine B, which is 25 degrees. So 25 degrees. So this kind of looks like something that we can solve out now. So we'll just get rid of, make us some more space over here. Well, I can see that I have side B, and if I multiply the sine across to 
the other side, I'm going to have 102.46 multiplied by the sine of angle B, all divided by the sine of angle A, or the sine of 120, is going to tell me that length of side B. So if I work all this out, I can find that sine B, the, the length of side B, is approximately equal to 50 meters, or 50. Uh, I've used approximate because you know these decimals come out to give us random approximations, so it'll be close to, and these little curvy equal sign just means approximately. So B is 50 meters. So what that means is in the start of the movie, Rafiki is holding Simba roughly 50 meters off the ground. Not exactly, but roughly 50 meters. And I was thinking, you know, wouldn't we be a little concerned about that? So I, so I did some calculations and I worked out that if we take, you know, an average building. A 50 meter, 50 meter high building, you know, something like that, is going to be roughly 13 stories. So just using a non-right angle triangle rule, I can work out that Rafiki is holding Simba roughly off the height of a 13 story building at the start of the film. Is it just me or does that seem kind of dangerous? Excellent. So that is how we use our sine rule in non-right angle triangles. Just remember that it's the ratio of the side length divided by its opposite angle to side length divided by its opposite angle and that comes out and that is constant. Also, never watch The Lion King the same again. So thanks guys, I'll put out some videos on the sign rule for you.